Alright guys, so in the previous video, I'm gonna link it in the description. I showed you guys how to level and pan background vocals slash harmony vocals. So I'm gonna show you in this video how I process them. Here we have a fat filter EQ getting rid of the low and the mid frequencies, specifically around the mud area to clean up those vocals. Everything that applies to this specific channel will apply to the rest of the harmonies. So this right here is a CL1B. What I'm doing here is taming some of those peaks. As you can see, I am not gaining anything. All I wanna simply do is maintain a little bit of those peaks because if you can see on these vocals, they are not that dynamic, even though we do have some quiet parts right here and a loud part right here. And the whole purpose is to just have it closer together, dynamic wise. Our second compressor is practically doing the same thing, but it's just taking care of any little peaks that are left behind. Now, the next line of business is to route all of those harmonies to a harmony bus, which is right here. The next plugin that we have on the Harmony bus is a doubler. I am removing everything from the middle and keeping the sides. And I'm cutting a little bit of the highs because we want these vocals in the background. Keep in mind that the lead is gonna be dead center. Next, we have a C4. On the C4, all I'm doing is cleaning a little bit of that mud and a little bit of the high end just to smooth out the vocals. Continue on, same idea, cleaning out the highs, getting rid of all the excess lows that we don't need and cleaning out some extra mud. Back over here, very, very small detail. I like the color of this EQ and all I'm simply doing is boosting 0.84 around five kilohertz with a wide bell. Something very, very simple, just for color, just for a little bit of detail. Next, we have a MB, a Fat Filter Pro MB. So the idea and what's going on here is that I'm gradually taking things down and doing it with multiple plugins. I'm not doing it with just one. I'm using different plugins because I like the different sonics of each plugin, okay? Jump into the decapitator, some drive, and I'm more so on the dark side because again, we do not want these vocals to be bright. Just a little bit of drive, just some more color. We have an LA-2A leveling amplifier, something to just compress some of those peaks and keep some of the body, being that this compressor has a relatively semi-slow attack. And an L2 just to glue those vocals in the background. So let's go ahead and play what all of that sounds like. How I feel. And let's take everything off. How I feel. It's very settled. So the next thing that we have are some quarter note delays on the send. How I feel. That helps give us that depth. Okay? And a plate reverb. How I feel. So if we turn everything off on that specific bus, it sounds like this. How I feel. And bring everything back in, we have this. How I feel. Now, I have those vocals going to a vocal bus. On this vocal bus, I saturate those vocals to give it more flavor, more sauce. How I feel. And then the next plugin I have is a filter freak just to beef things up a little bit. How I feel. This vocal bus, it's more catered to color than anything else. I'm using a radiator with some bass. How I feel. To make those vocals sound brolic, big. And gluing it with an SSL compressor. All right, let's remove everything once again so you can hear the difference. How I feel. With. How I feel. 
Now we have a more smooth, luscious vocal that can sit in the background. So after I finish mixing those background vocals slash harmonies, I can introduce the lead vocal. Let me play one more time the harmonies. How I feel. And let's introduce the lead. How I feel. You see how the backgrounds do not touch the lead? How I feel. Now this is just the process. I always advise you guys to do this in context with your mix. But due to YouTube and certain restrictions, I'm only showing you bits and pieces without the instrumental, without all the elements around it. But you do have now a better perspective on what to do with the vocals. If you guys need me to go more in depth with how I mixed the lead, just leave it in the comments and I'll get right to it. 